with some news. My name is Mike P, a.k.a. Phony. Today's day is August 5th, 2022. The time is like 3-something, 3 3.09. We are so early today. Oh, chat. Hello, chat. Thank you so much. Welcome for joining me. My co-hosts also, in some respects, also my field reporters. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You think it gets annoyed with this chat? Hell no. Nah. Oh, that's great for Christmas. What? <laughs> ah, but today, today we got a pretty decent news. The ball handlers. Thank you, the ball handlers. <laughs> Turbo Golf Racing, man. Pretty good game. Pretty good game. Free on Game Pass. Take advantage of that shit. It's a fun game. Download it. Try it. Okay. It's only like uh, it's only like some gigabytes. No problem. No problem. We all got we all got internet, good internets and, and and hard drive spaces. Come on. He loves chat. He hates YouTube. Whoa! Where did that part out? So first, coming up in October, we have a convention right here in sunny California, Southern sunny California to be exact. A little town called San Diego. I was just there recently. It's very hot. It's very hot. It's uh, it's 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 not as big a town as you would think. When you think about the big cities in California, you think, uh, you know, San Francisco, L.A., and San Diego. But San Diego is really just up there because on a podium, you have to have a third place, right? Mm, you know, it's kind of, it's it's big, but, you know. <laughs> sorry, sorry to any San Diegans in here, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sacramento. Ah, no one thinks about Sacramento. That's the capital. There's so many. It's like it's like capital of Nevada, right? Carson City. It's like nobody would ever say Carson City. They'll say Reno and Tahoe way before they mention Carson City. <laughs> Sacramento just gets to fly under the radar for everything. Somehow. Under for everything. Just flies under the radar. Just get any of the blame for anything. All right. Anyways, so <laughs> if you are planning on visiting around that time, you can attend a little thing called TwitchCon. It is back! TwitchCon is back! Get ready to squat up, it says. It's right for the low, low, low price of $229 for your three-day ticket plus party access. You can attend one of the biggest... <laughs> Super spreader events of the year. <laughs> Get COVID for free. <laughs> it's monkeypox now. Okay, it's monkeypox now. You know all them streamers and shit. You know they're all they're all like PDA and everything all the time, man. Jeez, man. Fuck. Um, <laughs> no, when I was there, <laughs> Dulux party access. That's right. Two twenty nine to get three days of COVID. <laughs> Two for one deal. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right so 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 uh, uh so the, the the price the price is up the price used to be like 149 169 something like that uh the price is up if you're a non-partner right <clears throat> um if you're a partner it's 50 percent of this so which i mean that's reasonable 50 percent of this as a partner i mean that's great but not everyone's a partner most everybody's an affiliate like thousands tens of thousands of you guys are affiliates so you have to pay more you make less <laughs> but you gotta pay more. <laughs> it's a gate. It's a gateway thing, man. We gotta keep all the plebs out. So, <clears throat> where's my discount as affiliate? Oh no, that's your discount. <laughs> you get to go, I guess. Uh, so yeah, two hundred twenty nine dollars. It did go up, but it went up over the course of three years. All right, we didn't have like what two thousand nineteen was the last was the last one that we had, the last TwitchCon. Um, not not including Amsterdam. Uh, and. That one was like 169 or whatever. And so it's like, okay, the price went up to 229 over the course of three years. It's not like Blizzard when they go up like $30, $40 in like one year or something. It felt like that, right? So if you went to if you went to TwitchCon every year, it'd probably be a gradual increase. I'm not too worried about the price. It sucks and the timing is bad because everything's fucking expensive and nobody makes any money anymore. It means nobody spends any money anymore and everything sucks. But the price goes up with time. Not inflation, just time, I guess. <laughs> so, like me, after only nine years of streaming, ah, the rich get richer. Yeah, exactly. So, mm, 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 mm. Ah, so it's available to you if you'd like to go for that price. Now, um, you guys are all talking about health measures. Of course, we're going to talk about that as well, as well. So they do say, I'm going to zoom, boom, 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 boom. 
It says we are constantly reviewing our health and safety guidelines along with local authorities in accordance with our current local guidelines. There will be no COVID-19 vaccination or testing requirements at TwitchCon San Diego. Although masks are encouraged, they are not currently required to attend TwitchCon. Please ensure you are comfortable with our current health and safety measures before you purchase your ticket to TwitchCon. So, um, they said that they uh, worked with local officials and all that stuff to come up with this. Um, but we do know that Comic-Con, which took place literally like two weeks ago, uh, had a COVID-19 vaccination and mask policy. Now, whether or not they enforced it, that remains to be seen because some people are saying that, you know, it's like, oh, well, they didn't enforce it, so it didn't matter, right? <sighs> well, if one person doesn't do it, then it doesn't matter, right? That's the fucking argument. <laughs> um, but the point of the matter is that they also said that they worked with state local health guidelines and public health recommendations from the local peoples so someone someone is fibbing or stretching the truth or maybe asking a different set of local health authorities i'm not sure maybe san diego has more than one local health authority um but which says that they're not going to be uh, uh, necessarily enforcing that. So, so this this is this is a big deal, obviously, because uh, there are a lot of people who are still uh, highly susceptible to um, your know, airborne viruses and such. Um, more so, more so than you know, they're deadlier than um, like let's say the common common uh, uh, Pax Pox, for example. Um, but but uh, if it's not going to get enforced. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> it does seem it does seem like it's a strange thing to shift on uh, so soon after another convention had already put out their guidelines uh, that they're going to be uh, they're going to have. Um, it would actually make more sense for Twitch just to go ahead and say that they are going to have one and then just not enforce it, right? Um, would you would you go as far as more dangerous than say the comic holds? <laughs> <laughs> Our health is concerned. We, yeah, we need money. Nah, beer is at the at the bar watching uh, some news. Oh, hey, good. Yeah, Casper. All right, all right. Um, so, so this is a this this is this is a tough one because like in California, we are even we are kind of easing up on restrictions. Uh, we do know that COVID numbers remain flat, but there are people that say that they remain flat because everybody's doing at home testing, therefore nothing gets reported, and also BA four and BA five, which is like the newer versions of of the virus, um, have uh, or whatever the generations or whatever of the virus uh they uh are you are less susceptible to issues if you had omicron or the boosters or whatever there's all these things and combinations and all that stuff and i think what's happening now is people are just getting a little bit more comfortable with just kind of being around doing things with this now it's not ba4 or 5 not as not even remotely as dangerous as some of the initial stuff and also we have vaccines and all that shit so for me it's like i feel like we're at a comfortable place where we could probably do this without necessarily enforcing masks on everybody, but that would ex completely exclude anybody that's immuno immuno immunocompromised uh, from being able to attend. Now, I don't know how those people attended in the past, but it still is kind of just a big line that says you cannot cross here anymore because of this. Um, now, <clears throat> in terms of monkeypox, I'm not going to touch that one. So monkeypox still recently... Uh, referred to as a state emergency here in California and then I think federally, just like yesterday or something, uh, and that was for the allotment of funds to go towards vaccine research all that stuff, right? Um, so that's still, we're still kind of early in that regard. The convention center should have the policy uh, that if people want to use the complex, then it's required. Well, it's up to it's up to the convention. Now, personally I think that they're going to go ahead and probably go back on this at some point. There's enough kickback, I feel like they're probably going to go back on this. Like, there's a lot of people that are saying they're just not going to go. Um, there's also a petition here the petition here that's signed by 4,130 people it says mass acquired for twitchcon after the surge covid cases after twitchcon eu it was incredibly surprising to see the lack of mass policy for the event that makes uh and makes many of us incredibly concerned about twitchcon and a hey, many other cons that have gone without a mass policy have only exacerbated the covid cases where cons like pax east uh west uh, etc have had much lower cases by having a strict mask policy so this is the the user voice. This is the where Twitch goes, and you could put like all your ideas, and you could vote them up, and everything we've used before for stuff for us actually. Um, <clears throat> so this is these are all user submitted. Okay, 
So this is just a user. If I click on Krev here, I can see all the rest uh, of things that Krev have submitted. Uh, wristbands for level of comfort. I'm guessing that has to do with like being around other people. Uh, this is a TwitchCon related thing. Uh, method to contact TwitchCon organizers. So this person's putting in a whole bunch of things related to Twitch and all that stuff, right? This person, Krev. Um, and so one thing that I've been seeing around, like just around the um, the space, right? Around the uh, around social and all that is that people are saying that after uh, TwitchCon EU, there was a surge of COVID cases. And so that's like the one thing that I keep seeing every time I see people talk about what's gonna happen at TwitchCon in San Diego. Now, uh, I, I, I'm, I don't believe everything I read. So <laughs> I was like, where did you get this information? Where's the data to show this? So I went and looked it up myself. I went to see um, the after the surge of COVID cases in Switch County EU, which took place in Amsterdam, which is in North Holland uh, in, uh, in the Netherlands. And I went zoomed into the past thirty days, which would cover uh, TwitchCon was uh, uh, yeah TwitchCon um, uh, EU, which was July fifteenth, I think. Let me just check that real quick. See TwitchCon Amsterdam twenty twenty two. What dates were those? Uh, July fifteenth, twenty twenty two. Okay, cool. Just want to make sure. And according to this here, which is their own COVID tracking, there's basically no change. Nothing happened. So, so I don't know where the data that says that there was this huge mass of like, you know, COVID related breakouts in uh, cases in, in, in Netherlands, um, but I don't see it. Uh, I don't know if this would account for people traveling all over the place. Maybe we can look elsewhere, but I feel like a lot of this might just be hearsay unless somebody else has an article or something showing that this data exists. Now, that doesn't mean that you can be speculative and that you can be uh, uh, a little extra, a little extra uh, careful, right? By saying, you know, well, probably a lot of people caught it after the last one. <laughs> Maybe we should do it here. Maybe, but you can't necessarily just say, you know, what she is saying or the, this person is saying here. Uh, how many I didn't find it until they went home? Yeah, exactly. So so we have no way of showing this, but that doesn't mean that you can say after after all the cases that blossomed from the last TwitchCon. That's my argument here is that a lot of this is riding on this fear of this fear monitoring based of what happened at the last TwitchCon when I can't find any data to support that. That's where I'm at with it. What about worldwide reporting at that time? It's a drop in the bucket it wouldn't even matter it wouldn't matter if every single person at the convention got COVID. <laughs> actually no maybe it would matter then but still uh even if they all live in netherlands they would presumably all spread out uh, after the three days yeah so I, I i get i get what you guys are saying but i mean we'll look at netherlands as a whole and you know there's it's going down right like how where can i go let's go worldwide as a whole uh it's kind of kind of remaining steady-ish you know but i mean worldwide i mean seriously guys it's not it's like one star in the sky right we're talking about here amsterdam um so it's so a hugs and kisses for everyone at twitchcon Woo, yeah no i understand everybody wants to be uh to be careful right and i and i i say yeah be careful wear a mask if you want to wear a mask all that stuff don't go if you want to go we can't stop them from making this decision i would rather them take air on the side of caution which would also be the inc inc more inclusion focused uh, uh uh policy is that way you get more people to, to come down um but you know if they don't change it then you know this is just what i see and then on the flip side of saying well all these things happen it's like well if i can't support that data with anything then it's just basically hearsay at this point um best way to stop them from doing this don't go speak with the wallet as uh, as always with these things exactly i mean even um I mean, just flipping through Twitter. I mean, I found I mean, Bike Man says, unless Twitch smartens up but not require masks or negative COVID test bracelets at TwitchCon, uh, we will not be going. We'll see if things change. I had that shit once already and lost my sense of taste and smell for a month. No thanks again. Yeah, and I'm with him too, right? Like, I mean, like, I don't know if I'd really go to uh, to a convention with that many people from all over the world uh, after I already had COVID twice and the first time it fucking sucked. <laughs> first time fucking sucked. Um... <laughs> They want to remove barriers to people going. Yeah. Any of the other Netherlands? Oh, yeah, sorry, fair point. Um, the surges wouldn't be limited there. There's just too many cities, countries. So blame TCEU for the surge is really gray line. Yes, yes. You. What I'm saying. Well, I'm sorry. But what? I, but just so we're clear here, right? It's like you can't say one thing happened and then use that as the basis for why another thing can't happen when you can't prove that the first thing happened. And that's what I see here with this user voice thing. It's okay to be cautious. 
It's okay to be cautious. But if it's like, oh, I knew like three people that got COVID, it's like, okay, well, every time I go to a convention, I knew like 40 people that had Pax Pox. <laughs> you know, it's like my one person sampling of this does not necessarily mean that it's a scientific you know, study or anything or survey on this matter. Uh, I think it's a good idea to ask for negative test results and not enforce too harshly. It weeds out a lot of the infectants for a little effort. Yeah. Uh, you got COVID from talking about TwitchCon. <laughs> That's a good title. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Thank you for that one. Thank you for that one, Boots. I'm going, well, I'll, I'll keep down the consideration there, bud. Um, my personal empirical evidence from experiences otherwise. Yeah. Wear a little space. Yeah, wear a space suit. Did he have as many people getting COVID at TCEU as I did uh, AX? But that was mostly people saying it on their Twitter. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, my recommendation is just don't go. You know, just don't go. You know, like what? It, it, I mean, Twitch is Twitch has been fun in the past. I'm not going to say, oh, it's it's you know, it's like oh, you're it's it sucks. You're not going to miss anything. Like it's been fun. Like I've enjoyed my time there and all that stuff. But it's not it's not worth it if you feel like it's a risk. You know, if it's a risk, then don't go. And then let other people go. And if people get sick from it, then you know, it's like what the fuck are you going to do? We've been trying for three years here. Uh, how many more years do you want to keep on trying to keep people in line? They don't want to take care of their loved ones or their friends and all that shit. Then you just fucking let them do what they want. <laughs> like I can't fucking stop them, man. Uh, I got a wild card this year in the form of a monkey pox. You got the monkey pox uh is it is it like all over the place i don't want to ask too many questions but dude it sucks uh you're not missing out on anything just go hang out with your friends at their house cheaper and safer that's another thing you could probably do and that's also a lot of fun i've mentioned several times that i would go to blizzcon again not necessarily to go to the convention itself but to go to the um uh but to go to the uh parties and shit you know, I'd be touching a whole lot less people hanging out and drinking with folks. And I would be sitting in the crowd during opening ceremony <laughs> in that fucking massive pit of people trying to push their way in to get a seat. Jeez, man. TwitchCon or Turbo Golf racing with the boys, right? Right? I mean, is it really, is it really even a question? Uh, if I was going to TC, but not the con itself, just go ahead and see the people I've missed for the last couple of years. That's why I feel like too, you know? Um, uh, Declan's birthday is right around uh, uh, TwitchCon. Otherwise, I would actually go because I have a friend that lives there, right? So it's like, now it's easy. I can just go and stay on his couch or something. Um, but, you know, this is birthday. So that's the only reason why I'm not going to at least be in the area to hang out with folks is because Declan's birthday. So don't crisscross that with something else. Oh, you the friend of my mom. No, no, that shit. Um, <laughs> not the Blizzard Hotel Suite. It's a trap. Oh, man, with the Bill Cosby painting or whatever. Jesus Christ. What a fucking damning photo that was. God, just fucking guys. Uh, it's all about Declan Con now. Are you kidding me? Fucking germs and shit. Fuck a bunch of little ass kids. It's the worst. It's the worst. It's the worst. Uh, dips on pressure wash. Oh, party in my place. <laughs> Is that what's going to happen? Is that what's going to happen? Um, <laughs> Decon. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> perfect day for it. Uh, so, yeah. Um, like I said, price price is uh, two twenty nine. Uh, it's half that price if you are a partner. Uh, and there are going to be much more lax health restrictions compared to other conventions that happen in the exact same place within the same period of time, consulted by the same people. Um, but whatever the reasoning is, is the reasoning. Maybe, maybe. Maybe something that we don't know is that Twitch is full of a whole lot of anti-vaxxers and anti-maskers or whatever, and they just don't like talking about it. Like maybe they see that there's like a whole lot of folks who just wouldn't go and they're like, well, we like money, so let's just go ahead and let them in. <laughs> maybe there's just like a huge, huge like cell operating to stealth within within the rest of Twitch, you know? <laughs> People who don't like shots. <laughs> Mike, stop! Don't get you. I know. I'm sorry. I know. I've gone too far. I've gone too far. <laughs> uh, if that's true, at least they're smart enough to go drop it all. Uh, at least they're smart enough to go drop it all over their Twitters. Oh man, uh, the TT Twitch Task Force would like to know your location. <laughs> I got that shit figured out, man. I got that shit figured out. Uh, so, and uh, elsewhere in Twitch news, uh, we have. Um, well, this is actually. This is, let me see, boop, 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 boop. Let me stop. Let me rearrange this a little bit. Elsewhere in Twitch news, um, in the uh, in, in the in the gambling section, 
So this story came out yesterday and um, or last night, and it's kind of making the rounds today. Um, and this is about uh, gambling on Twitch. Now I think that we covered. I'm sure that we covered gambling on Twitch a number of times, um, a number of times. Because I remember talking about how like the 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 uh, Las Vegas uh, gambling commission doesn't fuck around. <laughs> I remember saying that. So it's like, yeah, we talked about it for sure. Yeah, several times. So Twitch gambling is still a thing. It's a huge thing. And Bloomberg's done an article uh, digging in and seeing um, just how much of an impact it could have it does have or could potentially have on people. Um, and gambling on Twitch, man, what? Yeah, we though so stake stake.com is one of the biggest ones and I know that we talked about stake.com so yes we just talked about this. Uh, stake.com is uh, one of the big um, gamblers gambling uh, online gambling companies that's been pushing uh, and promoting through some of the biggest streamers on Twitch uh, paying them millions of dollars in order to get them uh, you know in order to get them to play their games uh, on stream. And then, of course, bring in new users. Now, uh, they wouldn't be paying all this money to the streamers and the content creators if they were not getting some kind of a return. And they're paying a lot. I think the last we talked, like Train was getting like millions or some shit like that, right? And getting money to spend. So he wasn't spending his own money on gambling. Just free fucking play money. Um, So, like, it's, it's, it's it's clear that they're making a return on this, which means that the audience that's watching, those are the people that are being converted and they're the ones that are playing. Now that audience ranges from, you know, like 13 to fucking whatever, right? It could be anything. Uh, unfortunately, there's no there's no filter, right? Uh, it says here, it says, Bloomberg's deep dive shows that Twitch streams are pulling kids as young as 16 into crypto gambling. And there's basically a, t- a bunch of stories in here talking about, um, here it is. So uh, while Stake reportedly made $119 million in a single month, thanks to their deal with XQC, right? Uh, from the biggest fucking streamers. <laughs> Here it goes. Train in one clip, Train Rex declares with a swagger that he makes a lot more than one million dollars a month from his deals. Uh, so yeah, these guys are making like stupid big bank money. The streamers are, uh, and you know, like the streamers, they don't, they don't, you know. Once you get past a certain point, like it, like in terms of like viewership and everything, you just can't possibly care about people that watch. You might in general care about people that watch, but your threshold for individual care is super fucking low. Right here, I know a lot of you guys by name, some of it by actual name, right? (laughs) So here it's easy for me to care on a more individualistic manner, right? But if I was as big as XQC, it'd be really easy for me to be like, well, that blob over there kind of likes what I do. So I'm just going to keep on doing it. So up to day. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, Bob. <laughs> you don't care. Stop pandering. But what I'm saying is, is that when you get these streamers that are super huge, like XQC is just like, yeah, let's do take millions of dollars to go into place to my to my crowd, to this blob of people over here that just spam my chat constantly. And it's like, because that's what they that's what they hear. That's what they see. And so for it's, I feel like it's easier because your threshold is much lower. It's like shit. It's like uh, it's like uh, it's like a drone strike versus shooting someone in the face. You know, it's a uh, it's a little less personal. Personal. When you just push a button, you just fly that bitch in, right? Uh, let's host a convention where newly bankrupt viewers can confront uh, front them in person. <laughs> yes. So the story goes on to talk about how some users have actually declared bankruptcy. Uh, I saw some numbers going around saying like one percent of the one uh, percent uh, of people that watch develop a uh, an addiction uh, to gambling, and and fifty percent of people that are addicted to gambling end up committing suicide or something like that. Now I don't know if the stats are true. Read it on the internet, <laughs> but but still, I mean, I think that looking at numbers, even as minuscule as like a one percent or like a half a percent or fraction percent or whatever when you're talking about millions of people it's still a lot of people what's up boy yes you may like five gummy bears all right thank you love you boy (laughs) just five just five and not daddy's gummy bears (laughs) he going for six he going for six (laughs) i'm gonna count him (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> all right so so yeah it's uh if you want to take a look at the actual stats here this is actually linked in here twitch tracker you can see um oh wait where is it at fuck peak viewers okay never mind never mind i thought i had it linked up uh but anyway so it's the seventh most viewed did i say that slots oh there it is sorry i went right over it so yeah slots slots is the uh seventh most viewed so slots is bigger than fortnite it's bigger than dota 2 
Uh, it's bigger than Call of Duty, Warzone, Counter Strike, Multiverses, Fall Guys, Team Fight Tactics, World of Warcraft. Da, 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 da. Uh, it's bigger than it's bigger than all these things. It's almost as big as Apex Legends. Why the fuck is Apex Legends up here? What do they do? What is happening here? How old is this list? Somebody's streaming this right now. <laughs> how, how old is it? What's going on with this list? <laughs> Valor, what the hell? No. Apex still a generally decent game, I guess. I, I, I Let me see. When is this the most game watched on Twitch? Last seven days, man. Hey, that's cool, man. That's cool. But but you know what's cooler? Slots. <laughs> Watching someone play slots, boy. That's great. Uh, I wonder if actually if they lead you in. Let me see. Yeah, here we go. Uh, top clips. Here's a top clip from this. Let's go and see what this is. Oh! No! Oh! Oh! New PB I want. Okay, well, he won a lot. He won a lot. He won a lot. He got paid. He got paid to win a lot, but he won a lot. <laughs> exactly. It's not even their own money they're betting with. It's not even their own money they're betting with. It's ridiculous. Train wrecks. Train wrecks say he's up here. Train wrecks. Train wrecks. Train wrecks. Train wrecks. Train wrecks. Train wrecks. Of course he is, and he's all over the place. <clears throat> he won. <laughs> he won a lot. I mean, he probably won some money for sure, but still. Um, get the same vibe as a reaction YouTube channel. <laughs> get up and start screaming. <laughs> I think he probably won a lot. That's why his voice is almost gone. <laughs> so yeah, it is. It is like I said, the seventh most, the seventh most watched, which means it is. Um, you know, I mean, it's potential to get even bigger. I mean, it's gotten big since we last talked about it. I mean, it was big before, but it was, I don't feel like it was this big. Um, and now it's a problem. Now it's a problem because, because bad press is happening. Not because Twitch sees that as an issue. We've been talking about this for how long? But because there's an article on it. So now, now we'll see if anything happens. Probably not because they're too busy. They're probably too busy working with uh, TwitchCon stuff. And it's also really easy to drown out bad news when you have lots of good news to announce. So, you know, whether or not they choose to do anything about uh, uh, about you know, Twitch gambling streams uh, remains to be seen. But it's still getting to be a bigger problem. And the more articles, the more, more uh, uh, media outlets I pick it up, the more pressure... But like I said, there's a lot of, uh, of of news coming out about TwitchCon, so it's easy when you counter with your own bad news, I should say, not good news. <laughs> Anyways, it's fine, Mike. We all know that Twitch will review the context. The con <laughs> when we're applying the community guidelines, we very specifically uh, take context and intent into account. <sighs> How long does Twitch want to cut of that action because all that money coming to streamers is using their platform? Who says that's not happening now? I will just say that more than likely that is happening. I can't say for sure because I don't know for sure, but I can't say more than likely that is already happening. Probably has some kind of deal or something set up, some kind of like kickback or some shit or something they go there. They're paying, they're paying the streamers through Twitch or something. I don't fucking know. I don't know what they're doing, but, but I can't imagine that those streamers are making millions and millions of dollars, dollars off of one company, one company, and that company's also making tens of millions of dollars in return, hundreds of millions of dollars in return, and Twitch isn't getting a cut of that. Mm -mm. Twitch has the right at any moment to cut off that, to cut off gambling on Twitch, period. But they don't. So I can only imagine either brings in the views or they're bringing in money or both. <clears throat> Had a coworker that watched exclusively People playing slots online in a person. He had to start watching because his partner stopped him from doing it himself almost after almost bankrupting them. Yeesh. Yeah, man. Uh, I would just make a big gambling Twitch feature. That's just what they should do. That's what they should do, man. So, <clears throat> we already checked. Uh, we, we already checked that it's bringing in the views. Yeah, for real. It's bringing in the news. It's kind of like external sponsor deal, sure, yeah, but the but the content itself is is question so questionable that it would really just be a matter of Twitch is saying, listen, we're gonna we're gonna shut this thing down because it's bringing too much bad press, and then you know maybe they just take some money on the kickback. No, I don't know. It's probably not happening, dude. It's not happening. I don't think. I don't, I don't, Twitch ethical company, man, they wouldn't do anything shady like that. That's like shady, shady, illegal shit, you know. But someone's gotta be making money off this shit, man. Anyways, do you regularly have to cut Twitch uh, in when you use your medium to promote a sponsor? No, not at all. But I also don't make millions from a company that makes hundreds of millions of dollars off of what I do. You know, <laughs> you get the scales way bigger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but yeah, no, it's, um, but I'm not a big enough streamer to know like what the ins and outs are of the uh, advertising through Twitch proper, right? With some of the bigger ones. 
Mike has gambling on his channel. <gasps> I do? What? Oh, yeah, I kind of do. That's right. It's Donkey Bank. Well, Donkey Bank, when Donkey Bank money, that's going to be worth something soon. So, you know, buy and collect as much as you can. Hit up your Twitch rep. Fuck. <laughs> speaking, speaking of, speaking of, uh, this happened uh, This happened the other day, yesterday or something. Uh, there's a, a streamer. This is, um, oh, fuck me. This is something 22. Stormfall 33. I was close. Stormfall 33, uh, who we've actually, I think we've actually featured on news before with the record uh, Starbucks uh, run like she walked into a Starbucks and the stream cut out and then it re resumed a second she walked out or something right so it looked like she's like warped in and out uh, anyway so uh, this is the same person and she she wanted to change the prefix on her uh, on her for her emotes right like mine is Mike B whatever and so <clears throat> oh mysterious thank you welcome welcome the Raiders mysterious uh, so she wanted to change her she wanted to change her her suffix or prefix to something new. Let's go and check in with her. I don't want to use a number. I don't want to have to type out Storm 33 and then S or something. It's just dumb. I want it cum. Dude, there's no way cum. You can't use cum. There's no way you can use cum. I'm going to get banned. Yeah, welcome, Miss and, and everybody. <sighs> so for those for those not watching the screen, I didn't think it would actually let me. Because it did. I <laughs> thought it would be like this isn't allowed. <laughs> So it is. <laughs> and for a period of time, and maybe even currently, uh, all of her emotes have the suffix, the prefix of cum. This is what they look like. You can see there's cum B, cum bra, cum dark, cum I, cum gasm, cum grug, cum hate, cum hobo, cum hog, cum mods, cums, cum sip. That's a good one. <laughs> come squeeze. Come burp. Oh my God. <laughs> oh man. So <clears throat> yeah, she, uh, I watched the rest of the VOD and she's fucking funny, man. She was just like, she first she tried to like play it off. She's like, I was trying to spell cumble. Like she was trying to, <laughs> clearly fucking around but like she's like i was trying to spell cumble someone's like someone's like oh the old cucumber trick ha don't work here yeah come come yeah of course you did of course you did yeah so it worked though it worked it worked it may still be in effect um and uh and she's she's not banned she's live right now so she's not banned as a matter of fact i'm curious she's live right now so let's go and take a look at her at her screen we could, we could solve this this mystery right here let's see what are her uh, what do they say? That's, that's me. I don't really want to say it again. <laughs> I should honestly like, cut that. She changed it. She changed it back to storm. So it's changed back to storm. But it was come for a while. I think so. It, during the rest of the episode, uh, people were like, "Oh my god, what are you gonna do? Contact your rep." And she's like, "Bitch, no one's ever talked to me. I don't have a fucking rep." Uh, which is true. No one's no fucking reps. Um, and she. <laughs> Uh, and then she said she was going to message somebody about trying to get a change or something. Because I guess there's like a cool down how often you could do it. But Storm F5. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. I saw this, the F and I wasn't sure. F5, like a, like a F5 Storm or something. I have the entire synth on my shirt on my phone. Oh, hey. Oh, the MS-20. Um, wait. No, no, no. What's on my... Was a Moog or something? Fuck, I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember, man. Anyway, so... Uh, yes, they, they they apparently don't have a filter. People were saying, why don't you try another filter? Like, oh, use a slur. And she's like, bitch, I'm not gonna use a slur. Like, oh, hell, it'll get me banned. So, so she didn't try any slurs, thankfully. <laughs> okay, but like, what? <laughs> so... So yeah, it's changed. Uh, it was, it's been changed though. So so the fun's over. But for a moment there, uh, imagine getting subbed just because your emotes start with "come." I am uh, certain that she got a fuck ton of subs for that. Um, she was at like less than eight hundred yesterday, actually, because because they showed she showed her her uh, her uh, Twitch points. Um, 
<laughs> Let's see, apparently another streamer in the past actually got cock as their prefix. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, cock seven or something, cock boy or something. Somebody asked. I didn't look into that one, but it's real, huh? <laughs> Uh, Sarkis have nothing, nothing for your prefix. Like, had no frick prefix. That's awesome. That's great. Then you could, well, I mean, yeah, then it'll be like a global email, all of them. Uh, was it Jesse? <laughs> Yours are skit 61. Yeah, see, see, just change it to come. <laughs> of course. Uh, speaking of never coming, <laughs> <laughs> the mobile wow game has been canceled. That's right. Did you know there was one coming? It's two. Well, there was. And now it's not coming anymore. There it is. So. <laughs> but we all got phones now. I know we all got phones now. <sighs> there was like two things they shared last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This segue was a good one. It was pretty good. Speaking of there. Oh. All right. So. <laughs> Demonetized. So yeah, uh, uh, the mobile wow has been has been um, uh, it's for three years they've been working on it and they laid off about a hundred people that work that are on that team. They, well, they lay them off or they end up moving them. Hold on a second. Uh, disp oh, they disbanded the team. Okay, sorry, they disbanded the team, so they're not laid off. That's yeah. Sorry, sorry. Excuse me. Um, but they uh, will probably end up using these assets for something else because that's usually what happens when you have something that's been in development for long enough. I can't imagine after three years of developing something that they already have an IP for that necessarily uh, are very bare bones with the amount of assets they've created. They probably have a fucking ton and they just don't want to launch it for some reason. Now, before anybody says that maybe it's because of Diablo Immortal not doing that well, that is, that is absolutely not true. Right? I'm sure nobody would say that, right? You guys wouldn't say it. Because that, that shit's making like bank. Like super, super bank. As much as we hate it, making like super duper bank. All right? Mobile app. I don't have a phone. Phones never let that shit down. They're never going to live that shit down. Never, ever, ever, ever. So yeah, no, it's making, uh, it's making huge money. So it's not because of that. It's because they just don't want to finish developing it i guess hold on a second yeah yeah that, that, they didn't really clarify let me see yeah it didn't say it was the past or the present typically the same universe as well but yeah that's yeah, so we knew that stuff um it's a cancel project for but oh, financial terms that's right financial terms okay yeah so so yeah it, it's probably gonna get picked by somebody else or they're gonna reuse those assets for something else it'll become the next overwatch or whatever uh that's how like overwatch use titan assets right so wow dying well dying just like Batgirl I know Batgirl rip um, but anyways yeah like I said uh, 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 Diablo Immortal is making a ton of money uh, as a matter of fact they just made $100,000 recently maybe you've heard of this one uh, one single player decided to send it it's all business Jay it's all business um, <clears throat> he just spent he spent 100 G's on Diablo Immortal right he was like I'm gonna I'm gonna just like beat the game and just see what I could get 100 G's and so he got 100 G's he ended up getting like a max level character or something over time uh he calls it a, yeah he calls it he calls this $100,000 an investment bro yeah exactly <laughs> he invested oh he invested he invested and so what happened was because he was now so big and powerful um there is no matchmaking available for him because there was nobody on his level uh, he likes to do battlegrounds, and because he's so high up now, there's nobody that can play with him. So he uh, has said he spent days trying to get into battlegrounds, can't do it yet. He spent hundred thousand dollars. He's reached out, uh, and so far he's not getting. He's getting a lackluster response from Blizzard, telling them there's nothing they could do. Uh, and so now, okay, so there's a little bit of a conflict here, right? It's like whose fault is that? It's because he paid to win, or, or. Is he doing this to expose Blizzard? Hmm. 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 Is this, this is all a ploy to explode, expose Blizzard? Hmm. Hmm. You so f f f f f galaxy brain stuff. Come on, guys. Uh, dude, he's mad. He spent 100K, so he couldn't destroy free to play players, and he's mad he can't destroy them. There you go. Yeah, see? Um, so, whatever his reasoning is. Like he kind of got, he kind of got a case here, man. I feel like, I mean, maybe it's not like a legal case, but it's definitely an internet case for us here to go ahead and deliberate on. And I think that he should get his money back. I feel like he probably should get his money back. I mean, cause he spent the money on the game and because the game is not playable for him now, then it's time to let it go. Now, whether or not he did it to prove a point or because he just has that kind of fuck you money or both remains to be seen he is uh still not able to play the game in the way that he wants and so for me 
I'd rather side on the one guy instead of big corporal Activision, but that seems to be in conflict with some of your guys' opinions, which is fine. And why is he mad he won the game? I guess he could say he won the game. I don't know if he got an achievement for that or anything like that, but um, <clears throat> honestly, I, in, in for a penny, in for a pound, he made that he made that choice. Everybody wants him to spend his money like that, man. Man, guys, Activision Blizzard's making billions of dollars, dude. Come on, man. Um, <laughs> it's his fault. It's his fault. I got, I'm not going to convince anybody. Okay, fine. Fine, fine. Fuck him. Fuck him. He spent the money. It's gone. It's gone. Maybe you can get like half of it back. <laughs> no, I got a better idea. Maybe Blizzard has to donate the money to charity, and then everybody wins. Perfect. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. He has only three losses, if I recall, versus his 300-plus wins. Because he's just so good at the game, dude. He fully made the choice to support Blizz's bullshit. Fuck him and Blizz. Uh, so, so his investment. He brought in another person who spent like $40,000. Uh, and they were talking about it. And I guess he said that um, nerf is tuned to give half back. Uh, and, and they said it's basically having the same issues and everything. So he will tax write it off. Yeah, he'll tax write it off. It's not like, I mean, getting a tax write off and, you know, it's too like, like, it's not like you get the money back. It just means that he's just part of his expenditure at the end of the year that, uh, he doesn't have to account for. Right. So he's just like, well, I, I spent a hundred thousand dollars for business purposes, which is still kind of shitty because then it could knock you down like an entire fucking bracket just with one fucking write off. So, yeah, uh, he, he said he's going to remake an account. But Blizzard did respond to him uh, and the Chinese company did say that they got a they got a patch. They got a patch. OK, thank you, Crypt. Wait, has that been updated in this article here? Hold on a second. Mm, 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 mm. Nope, 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 nope. It says so far busy to respond to ongoing Diablo controversy. Can you link me? Can you link me that real quick? Because he made a video. Yeah, he made his video. He said, "Should I refund?" But his, but his, um, uh, his take on this didn't really say so they're going to lower matching requirements. And then he has, uh, he has no case. Oh, there you go. Okay. So, uh, field reporter checking in. I know, I know, I know, I know. There you go. Good. JT, it's all business, is what it is. So yeah, let's just change like recent, recently, recently. Uh, well. Between now and like the second, I guess if they didn't update their article, Dexterdo. <laughs> oh, that's Dota Esports. Um, dot Esports, rather. Uh, anyway, so yeah, his, his last thing, he's talking about getting a, a refund and all that and talking about his bullshit. But uh, is there a most played highlight? Oh, yeah, huh? There is not. Oh, man, what the heck? You made a follow up video. Oh, fuck, I missed that. Let me see. I'm not going to watch it, but uh, let's see. That goes nine days, two weeks, videos. Let me see. Most OP skills in the game one hour ago. Best spots, Legend of Adam's Fath. No, broke Battlegrounds again, Diablo Immortal. Uh, 13 hours ago. This guy puts out fucking five videos a day. Um, Spawn Cabin Whales, big upgrades, identifying China versus the world ban. Okay, the world ban images. No, that's not it. I either, yeah, jeez, I don't know, man. I'm not going to go through this, but let's just. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> All right. Wait. Back in shape. Now, these guys are spawn camping us because literally... Okay, so anyway, let me see if he says anything in here. No, he doesn't. All right, well, I'm not going to go through and look at this, but but the action still remains that he did. Oh, I got a call from San Diego coming in. You think it's somebody... Uh you think it's somebody at the health office down there? <laughs> Big YouTube pumper, yeah. All right, so let's just go ahead and leave that one as being unresolved as of now because some people are saying that he is going to be, they are going to be making a change, and I don't see that here in a nine-minute video uh, just off the top of my head. So, um, Title says JT is back. Back doing what? He we didn't make a video for six hours for fuck's sake. Uh, he should be he should be be able to refund it. It was his choice to spend it, but he may strike uh, he may strike post as much Blizzard ticked me off. Uh, but really, chef uh, getting customer to eat ninety five percent of the meal and then complain about too much salt. I want it to come. Okay. Um. So 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 moving on, moving on, moving on. There you go. What is this? What's going on, guys? You made a six-minute video. Blizzard responds about refund Diablo Immortal. Wait, no, this is the one that's included in the article. This is the one, right? This is one that's not necessarily the one. Okay, this is the same day. Okay, all right. We'll leave it. We'll leave it open-ended for now because I do not have the uh, the resolution for this. Um, but as far as I know, he did spend the money and he's not getting his money back. Right? That's where we're at here. I think we're good. All right. They change the line of code and this will be moot. Yeah, yeah. There you go. So that'll be the end of that. Perfect, perfect. Anyways, let me get back to my notes here for fuck's sake. Da, ba, 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 ba. Let's see. Uh, oh, here we go. Let's little, little get away from gaming for a second here. It's his investment. He's protecting his investment. Now he gets to use his investment. Man, he puts out fucking five videos a day, man. It's crazy. Mm. Ah. What? No segue? 
Speaking of segues, HBO Max and Discovery Plus are going to be merging. Now, this may seem like a what? What are we talk about this for? HBO Max makes a lot of shows that we talk about. Peacekeeper or Peacemaker. Um, tons and tons and tons of shows on HBO Max. There's a lot, a lot. Let me actually pull up the list here. Let me pull up the list. HBO Max original. We there's all these, there's all these discussions about shows that are being canceled because we're getting quarterlies and all that. So everyone's talking about what they're gonna do for the next quarter, the rest of this year, fiscal year, all that stuff, and what they're gonna do in order to make their investors more money. And so we got all these things uh that are being chopped. Uh so this is a huge list. Pretty pretty little liars, probably heard of that one. The flight attendant. Uh, let me see. Uh, and then, yeah, Peacemakers here. Our flag means death. Uh, Minx, which, I mean, I love Minx. Minx was a great fucking show. A lot of dicks, though. Man, there's a lot of dicks in that show. Um, <laughs> but it was still really funny. Uh, Looney Tunes. The fuck? Tom and Jerry? <laughs> Minx is great. You've heard little, literally zero of these, just FYI. Well, listen, man, if you're not cultured, I can't help you. Mm, I can only show you the way, but it doesn't matter because these are going away. So I guess that culture is kind of getting, getting kicked out. So about time, maybe too many streaming services because all they all want a piece of the pie. So, um, yeah, that's what it seems like. It's like everybody's starting to pare down a little bit. They want to start steering people into more theatrical releases for things. Back, Batgirl got uh, got canceled, and they said that the movie was basically done, $90 million, and now they're just not going to release it. WB says this. Um, <clears throat> and see if he's got a good reason, or can I have this link? with This link here? There you go. Um, damn it, every time I do that, I lose my page. That's why I got to stop doing there we go okay 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 sorry 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 um so they're gonna be merging with disney plus now the uh uh these let me go to this next article here this next series of tweets here because this kind of frames this next segment here uh so this guy here uh his name is fuck 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 fuck, fuck. well he is the um uh the CEO, the head of of, uh, w, of Discovery, he was made the head of Discovery, and then I think they acquired HBO Max or something. Uh, anyways, he's the one that took Discovery and another another uh, network and turned them into what they are now, which is very much like reality focused, less scripted TV and all that stuff. Um, and as I was doing some more digging through this thread, they're asking him about you know the HBO Max Discovery, and he's saying, yeah, we want to streamline, uh, we want to streamline our business a little bit uh, and work on you know. Just things that are, it made it sound like they want to work on more movies. But if you look at this guy's history of working with previous networks like Discovery, um, then, well, then you'll see what happens. It turns it into like a reality show you know, mess. Uh, you've heard bad things. Well, you've heard right. <laughs> because, yeah, everything that this guy does turns into a bunch of reality bullshit, right? No scripted TV, nothing. Uh, or no, no, like, scripted, like, comedies and all that shit. Uh, he's actually even made a statement specifically against doing scripted TV and, and made fun of other companies and, and networks for chasing the idea of doing scripted TV, which is weird because we know TV for being scripted. This is like every fucking show that exists ever outside of reality TV. Um, <clears throat> Rip 2000 Discovery. Oh, yeah. yeah it's gonna be rip hbo uh soon uh maybe but anyways yeah if you're a user of the service this is something to, to look out for i know that a lot of us watch these shows which is why i'm mentioning it on here uh just like if we talk about netflix on here because all of us fucking watch netflix <laughs> but yeah there's a pretty good list of uh of shows that could go let me go and put that list in there um don't take my movies i know i know there's a lot of people they want to get back into making movies it's less it's less um I guess it's just like more, not these guys, but you know, uh, I think other, I think WB mentioned something like that, getting back into focus of doing movie stuff. They might just say reality TV isn't scripted. Who wants to tell them? No, I used to work in reality TV. We wouldn't refer to it necessarily as scripted in the traditional sense when you think about, you know, uh, What's that? What's that? What's uh, uh, the third rock from the sun or whatever with the fucking Bazinga dude um, and like friends and all that shit. And so, yeah, you could call it guided. You could call it guided, but yeah, it's, 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 it's always set up, right? We always put, we always put people in the situation and we're like, all right, so you're going to go in there and you're going to, we don't give them a script. We just say like, well, you guys are going to go in there and we're going to film you guys talking about blank, uh, big bank. Oh yeah. Starting out the third rock. Sorry. The Bazinga guy, whatever. Uh, so yeah, that's when you're talking about scripted TV, that's what we're talking about. Scripted reality. Yeah, sure. We could, we could 
talk up we could call it that if we want but yeah you would traditionally call one thing one one thing reality one thing scripted uh scripted drama scripted comedy scripted whatever so uh so yeah they they are look it's looking like they're going to be making some changes 2023 um so you know honey boo boo child or whatever probably gonna probably gonna see see all that pop up on hbo max it'd be weird because it's home box office and i feel like hbo is such a prestigious name from my childhood that's where you watched all the movies and every time you got a free hbo trial right then you plug in the vcr and you record as many fucking movies as you can <laughs> because that was the shit right there man it's time for a cable tv head haunches to come uh, to streaming and ruin that as well they already have like really they already have we have so many networks that exist um on their own uh nickel and diming us you know not necessarily individually but when you add them all together and you're paying for you know netflix and hulu and youtube tv and spotify and maybe apple music or some shit if you have both for some reason and yeah all these services start to add up uh entropy used to be a holy tv channel where you watch music video south park and pimp my ride now look at the state of it i don't even know what mtv is doing right now but there is mtv classic which is playing right now on youtube tv uh which is nothing but music videos which I thought was kind of rad. Jen puts it on every once in a while. It's literally worse than cable ever was. Yeah, I feel like that's kind of the point. And then cable's gonna come out and be like, hey, do you want all these services under one contract? <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Uh, wait, Pinball Rise on YouTube for free? But is it like, is it like shitty YouTube versions? Or is it like the actual like series? Can you actually watch a series like official? I love Pin My Ride. That show is so dumb. It's so stupid. So stupid. <laughs> Pin My Ride UK is relaunching on YouTube in a few weeks. Really? With Exhibit? Probably not. He's too old for that shit now. I don't think nah, Exhibit's done, right? Uh, they just call it West Coast. Uh, they do it with Dodge. I like my ride post disaster videos, yeah, where the uh, where the videos or where the the cars like basically fall apart because they slam them together. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I still love it though. <laughs> I still love it. Ah, uh, so uh, moving on. How to do? How to do? So moving on. How would you guys like to make twenty thousand dollars? It's too late, but if you could go back in time, it'd be an easy, probably the easiest twenty thousand dollars you can make. All you gotta do, <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> so, a few weeks ago, actually no, earlier this summer, uh, Moist Critical. They call him a YouTuber, but I think I feel like he's just a general content creator. He's on everything. Um, Moist Critical put out a challenge and initially it was for $5,000 for somebody to complete Halo 2 um, Deathless uh, Legendary All Skulls On. So if you see Lasso, that's what that means. Basically, it's the hardest setting with all the hardest modifiers enabled. Blah, 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 blah. What is this ad doing? See that shit? That's why that should turn off. It's trying to play. What is this? Trump live golf great Saudi Arabia or outrage? Oh, why? 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 I see this shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway so um what's this new pop ups get pop us out of here um all you gotta do is spend 40 days of your time playing the hardest version of halo 2 that's right so uh uh he moist so nobody beat it within the first within the first period the moist critical came out again he said well first of all let me go and play the rules here from moist critical himself without the envy I'm just skull. hitting you with the straight fucking filthy asshole of the truth it is brutally difficult and this is going to take a long time Twenty thousand dollars to the first person who can actually make history here and complete the challenge. I'm going to go over the rules again. It has to be streamed on either Twitch or YouTube, and it has to be solo Halo 2 Legendary difficulty with 13 of the skulls on. Envy cannot be on. So all the skulls except Envy on. No save load cheesing or any external modifications or anything like that. Just good old fashioned spit and elbow grease. <laughs> so yeah no fucking around you gotta do it and you gotta stream it so one of the uh one of the ones that he actually mentions in this video here let me go flow, fast forward a little bit here uh it's jervelin jervelin was already working on this while he was upping it to twenty thousand dollars and he even mentions them in the video 
So How here's close am I? this is a this is a clip this is a clip from one of his many attempts that's included in the same video here but you could see just how much bullshit happens and this is an hour and 49 minutes into the run you cannot die once no matter what i mean i've got the best shots guy but i don't know uh i could get it right now or i could get it six months from now you just you just don't know it's just you just have to get lucky like it doesn't really matter about being good like yeah okay you have to be <laughs> And his run is over. So he spends 40 days, 40 days going through this over and over again and had so many moments like this that happened. <laughs> and he flies off the edge. And so, and then finally, finally, Jervlin does do it. Uh, he does it in six hours and 29 minutes, 36 seconds. Um, I actually, well, what I want to pull up here is this is the win and the celebration here. This is the final comp, final uh, uh, encounter here. And then the actual win itself. You, what I love about this, just so you know, what I love, just, just to frame this real quick, what I love about this is there's not just a celebration here, Thank but you. also the uh, the family comes in and uh, congratulates them. Go, so chat. it's pretty nice. It's pretty cool. It's like a Fucking super done. super accomplishment. He's just like, yeah. Gosh, dude. $20,000. Fucking damn right. $20,000. This guy gets. And then right about here. We did it. We did it. <laughs> As the best, the best so part is that reaction for me. Oh my God, you did it. <laughs> so yeah, just I turned it off because my just, stream was. Just an excellent, yeah, feel good moment. So good, so good. Uh, I, I, you know, he was an affiliate. I don't know if he still is, but he was an affiliate. Um, <clears throat> so hopefully this gave him, give him like a huge platform because that is an insane amount of skill required for that. Um, so uh, he was, uh, he talked a little about what he's going to do now with the money. Now he's done, right? Because he spent 40 days doing this. I'm done for the day. Um, no stream tomorrow. I'm taking a break. Finally, I can play RuneScape again. Holy shit. Now that the grind is done. I'm done for the... <laughs> I could play RuneScape again after, now that the grind is done. So... <laughs> RuneScape time! Yeah, he's just, uh... <laughs> fucking RuneScape player slash fucking Halo 2 legend! Absolute legend. This man needs an intervention. <laughs> oh man! So, so yeah, just uh, I mean, just just this huge W for this guy. It's huge, 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 huge. Uh, took him forty days to make twenty K, so he was making five hundred five hundred dollars a day doing that. Five hundred dollars a day doing that, plus whatever other support that he got, plus whatever residual support he's gonna get in the future because of this. Like that's just huge. Uh, did he get the money? I mean, I don't know about yet. I don't know how they're going to do it. It's going to PayPal him or if it's going to go through like an escrow service or some kind of legal thing or whatever. I feel like if you're going to have an, a giveaway for $20,000, there might be a few more hoops to jump through. It's not like me saying, I'll give someone five bucks if they do this. <laughs> so better than most jobs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One dollar, a few suitcases. I have mine delivered in a pallet. I'll open up the garage door. <laughs> Move the car out of the way. Mr. P suitcase. You understand the levels uh, to this. He most likely plays RuneScape to AFK grind on a second monitor while he grinds another game on the first monitor, which, as we know, now is uh, probably Halo. Uh, Todd would do anything for you, Mike, for a Klondike bar? What? <laughs> uh, so, uh, moving on, moving on. So, uh, with the uh, uh, little bit about the war in Ukraine. Um, so uh, we've seen we've seen ripple effects. This thing affect like uh, things outside of what we would normally would think would be impacted by this. Um, and uh, one of the things, in, in fact, it is uh, is server access and team access for uh, companies on this side. One of them is a small group called couple uh, well, groupies. Uh, groupies 
We get their OG tweet here. This is the original tweet they put out. Uh, and they said that there has been some disruption with our technical team based in the Ukraine. Plus, we are not currently able to offer bundles. That may change, but we guarantee users will be able to download their assets through July 2022. We'll keep you informed about the future Groupies here. Now, Groupies is a service that I've used. Uh, I'm sure I've used a few times. I can't find my fucking login. Uh, but they do all these bundles, all these like music bundles. And they're all like themed or whatever. And so this is the Synthwave Bundle 22. <laughs> and this one, this one raised 1800 seven dollars and it's got a whole bunch of shit in it right uh, but yeah these guys have been doing uh yeah 400 albums alone from groupies yeah yeah i have i have a bunch somewhere too um that they, they actually had a couple of really good uh, uh bundles where it was like royalty free music like synth wave and everything and that was really great when like there was a period where you didn't really have access to a lot of really good like royalty free music without trying to rip it from YouTube or whatever. Uh, pretty sure you talked about them uh, before too. Good while back, so familiar. Yeah, we've talked about them. I was pimping one of their uh, one of their uh, deals. So, anyways, they they did say that um, they can guarantee access to groupies through August 2022. So, if you've ever bought anything through them and you don't have a copy of your own somewhere, then you're gonna want to go and get on there and download it as soon as you can. If you go to the groupie site now, um, it unfortunately just goes to. Um, well, nothing because they can't offer any deals. Um, so there's nothing here. Usually this would be occupied by like their, whatever the deal is of the, you know, the day or the week, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a good service and, and, you know, it's, like I said, I've scored quite a lot from these guys, uh, but they're interested in a pickle right now. They can't access their team, their servers, all that stuff. And all they know is that they have access to them until, um, uh, up through the 20, uh, August of this year. So basically this month. So if you have songs there, music, games, whatever, I recommend going and downloading them as soon as possible rip deals yeah rip those deals rip those deals um <clears throat> so uh that's that's actually kind of it that's actually kind of it but i do want to mention i do want to mention that there is there is a game called turbo golf racing that i enjoy quite a bit um and i feel like some of you guys might as well mm -hmm. Mm, because we play a lot of racing games and we also play golf here a lot uh so we did play it i have a video on it on my youtube channel we're we're breaking the game of course of course we're breaking the game um and so <laughs> poop. <laughs> poop sleep poop sleep so so just to explain that one because that's kind of funny uh so there's there's emotes in the game but they're just like little little cards little tiles that appear in the upper left corner um and they uh and they're like different things like a smiley face or a thumbs up or good luck have fun or gg and one of them is a poop and one of them is a uh, is a sleep and uh it's like a sleeping you know character or whatever and so uh they actually in their recent patch notes said that they're going to be deleting um, those two because of because uh, they don't want any toxicity in the game and what's funny is last night while we were playing I believe it was top so tell me what I'm pretty sure it was top uh, we were talking about you know, the poop emojis and, and all that stuff it was like oh no toxic there's toxicity in our game blah 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 right we were just joking about it and then we woke up this morning to the patch notes that said they are going to be taking it out so no more poop emoji in the uh, <laughs> in the game uh, soon toxicity in a racing game I know what you would think the golf side would make people softer and more pleasant but no I'm terrible at Rocket League I'm terrible at golf and I think I've hit my disappointment quota in that area <laughs> It's fair. <laughs> Way to ruin it. I know. I know we already been. I, I think I made the poop emoji one time. Gosh, I didn't know it was going to get carried away like this. She chat sponsored. Yeah, that's a chat sponsored uh, game plug right there. So, yeah, check, check it out. Oh, you guys got to see. Hold on a second. Uh, this is the screen screen cap. Uh, top grab this one. Thank you. Um, so yeah, here it is. Uh, so there's poop. I'm a little late to the party, but geez, people getting invented over poop. What a time to be alive. Funny poop. It's a poop emoji, guys. Come on. I mean, sure, but poop emotes make it easy. Poop, uh, poop yawn. Poop, poop. Spread the love, not poop. Poop and yawn forever. Gone. How quick people are offended by a poop emoji. <laughs> so much drama. So much drama. The TGR. Oh, my goodness. Poop emojis, man. Uh, poop. Scott Talley says, what? So that's it for the news. Thank you so much for joining me today. If I missed your article, if you gave me an article to cover, I'm sorry if I missed it. I went through them. I tried to grab as many as I could. I'm also trying to keep this thing less than two hours long so I could go and take care of my son and feed him some McDonald's because he deserves it. But for everybody else, make sure you go watch my DST short that I did with Declan. Don't starve together. I have a couple more that I'm going to make. 
based off of the same gameplay and also gonna be playing some more you should watch it because it's adorable it's adorable to watch Declan flop around and uh <laughs> and don't starve it's amazing uh and of course of course watch the uh watch the the tgr video you get a good idea of the game there um but for everybody else thank you so much for watching chat hang out for a second we're gonna get in there i messed up with the music again fucking when we're applying the community guidelines very button. specifically